Hi there, I got another recipe for everyone to try if you like. Uh, my dad gave me a bunch of fresh garlic, came out of his garden. It's all, it's not very clean yet, but I cleaned up some of them and peeled them ahead of time. Um, so we're gonna make a roasted garlic oil. You can use this in many different ways. You can use it to cook with, you can make, use it to roast some meat, some chicken, pork, a uh, steak. You can use the oil to, say, fry onions or Maybe like we're gonna make some gnocchi later, we can fry the gnocchi in this oil, so let's try that. So start with garlic cloves, or just whole cloves, peeled, clean, that's it, in the pot. And just enough garlic to kind of just cover it. So usually it's about equal parts. I added just a little extra oil because I want to use it to cook with, so just enough to cover it. What you can do is you put it on the stove top. And you're going to put it on like a medium heat just until the garlic starts to bubble just a little because you're preheating the, the oil really. It just kind of makes it faster to cook in the oven. You can skip this part if you want, but it just makes it faster. I have the oven preheated to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. So when this is, gets ready to go to in the oven, we'll just pop it in the oven and let it roast. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes now. And that's what you're looking for. You're almost wanting to add a low fry, like a shallow fry. So at this point, and be careful because it could spatter on you. Just this point, we're just gonna slide into our oven. And we're gonna set our timer. We got our old school egg timer here for 45 minutes. We're gonna check it at 45 and we'll see how it looks. It depends on your oven, how much oil, how much garlic, what kind of pot you're using. It will uh, determine how um, long it will take. And it also depends on how roasted you want it. So I would like to roast it a little further than most people maybe because it's more flavorful. Uh, being careful not to burn it, but we'll see how long that takes. Over here, you want to get this ready to go uh, because you want to just be able to toss it into the oil at the end. And I'll show you that after the oil's finished. So I have basil stems here. I have fresh basil in my fridge. Uh, so I just got some stems off of them because they have a lot of flavor. And why throw them out if you happen to have them? Just bruise them up with your fingers. And that will release the oils, and the oils have the flavor in it of the herbs. So, and then the rosemary as well. You could just kind of rip them off, rub it in between your hands, which is a good way to do it. You could also, in order to release some oils from herbs and garlic and stuff, or herbs and uh, like this, you could just use the back of your knife and bruise it. So that's fresh thyme, garlic. Sorry, fresh thyme, rosemary, and basil stems. And I have hot chilies. If you like it hot, then put these in. These are actually not crazy hot, but they are pretty spicy, so uh, we're not gonna use a lot. But this is, this will make it quite spicy for the amount of oil we're making. I'm leaving the seeds and the, um, they're called the ribs, the white part in because that's where the heat is. So we want to make a spicy chili oil today. Because why not? And we'll come back when the garlic is ready and I'll show you how to deal with this part. Hey guys, so the garlic is ready to go for our garlic oil. It's been about 45 minutes almost. So it looks just golden brown. You can take it further if you want. I wouldn't go too much further than this because it might taste burnt. But be very careful, okay? So let it cool just a touch, but you don't want it to cool all the way just yet. I got some peppercorns here. I got my mortar and pestle that I want to show off a little bit. Haha. <laughs> I'm just going to crush them, move it around to crush them a little bit. Just to release their flavor. bowl here with all our stuff that we did earlier. So remember all the stuff that we did earlier here, right? We got our thyme, rosemary, we got our basil stems, chilies, I added a few bay leaves. These are dried ones, fresh ones are way better, but they're kind of hard to find. Um, I'm just going to dump all this. This is still hot oil, so be careful. Into the oil. It's still really hot, okay? We're gonna let this cool to room temperature. 
<sighs> I have to smell it after you do that because it helps it cook better. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to infuse with the oil and that will make it, all this stuff will be flavored in the oil. And then when it's cool, we can take this stuff out, except for the garlic. And we'll put it into a mason jar. See, it's all done. <laughs> mm -hmm.